Hey guys, Captain Cowboy. Welcome back. We're doing another video today, and right now we're going to be talking about airship parts. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I got a bunch of airship parts from first anniversary spending event. I want to go ahead and update my parts, get rid of those purple, get rid of a couple of the oranges, and just upgrade my parts. So right here, already redeemed two gold airship attack parts. I'm going to go ahead and switch those out for some gold ones just because there's fewer stats for attack all around and that's where I'm always going to be lacking. So I want to go ahead and take a look at that, fix that up. So now we're going to go ahead and do defense a little bit just to replace the purples. And we're just going to be going back and forth seeing what we can do. Now we're doing a health and we'll also do a troop health, attack health and defense. And we'll just go from there, see how this goes. Alright, this last one I don't need it really for anything, so it's pretty much just going to be exchanged just because I only had three purples I need to get rid of and orange is lacking from purple, uh, from gold I should say. So let's go ahead and we'll pull out the purples, we'll pull out the attacks, and we will start upgrading them with the points that I do have. So, getting a healthy almost 11,000 gears to be able to enhance my airship parts from here. Another big thing that you guys need to keep in mind is airship skill level is huge. So, if you're going to be going higher than purple or even purple and you want to get around like level 3, there really is no benefit until you have like around a level 53 to level 55 airship and above. Simply because you want to maximize the amount of skills that are at level 20 to unlock that third skill. You'll see distance or like the bottom stat will say achieved once the airship ability reaches level 20. So it's right around level 53 airship where you get almost all, I think it's you have one or two missing that won't have that third stat. So you can really use that to your benefit by placing the skills that you have that are not at level 20 yet and by putting your like health because you will have distance health or your defense under those skills because you don't really care about your distance defense or health so kind of maximize that like even if you're lacking from that level airship go ahead and focus your defense and health under those abilities now you can't change what socket like where the airship parts go into so it's manipulating at what time do you put that skill in so just remove your skills make it be a blank attack airship abilities and then start putting it in knowing this manipulating that fact so you would put in your attack you want that to be one of your higher airship ability levels then it's going to be defense put that with one of your lower ones because that's one that you don't care about. Same with health. Then it goes troop health. Troop. That's another one that you want to be high level. Then it goes back to troop attack. Another high level one you want. Defense, health, troop. And that troop, final troop as well, is going to be a higher level. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned a little bit. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and stay up to date with all the latest uploads. This is Captain Cowboy.